Hello MaxTubers! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Max Tu, and today we will be enjoying Asia's Phoenix Miss Morissette Ammon's rendition of the song Rise Up. We have heard her sing this song several times but the difference is this time it is an a cappella. A cappella simply means no musical instrument will be used as accompaniment. So you can have a solo a cappella where you are singing alone or a group a cappella like what we are about to hear in a bit. It took me a while to get to this video because I have been encountering some problems with the usual mobile phone I'm using to record myself. It's busted. So I'm literally using this old phone right now, this old phone, uh, to record myself and trying to figure out how it's going to work. But anyways, before we get into the video, before we dive into it, I'm inviting everyone to once again follow me on Instagram at Max underscore two. And if you are here for the very first time, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxTube. As a gentle reminder, if you want to watch the full video without any interruption, without my comments, please head to my description box where you will find the original video link. Just click on it because as always, I will be pausing in between to give my comments and observations. Let's start! The intro is just so nice and solemn. I love it. Third Avenue is one of the bands we work with the most in the wedding industry, and they are really, really good with harmonizations. They are all remarkable musicians. You're broken down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round. You can find the fighter. But I see it in you, so we can walk it out. Ooh, 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 mountains, we can walk it out. And I have no idea how they recorded this since. They are, as you can see, located in different places. But pulling off an a cappella is not easy. When you have an accompaniment like a band or a minus one, you at least have a guide. But with a cappella, your pitch needs to be on point all the time. I'm thinking since Morissette is the one singing the melody, she should be the one to record first and then pass it on to the others for the different voicing and harmonization. But it is also possible that they did it the other way around, but I guess we'll never know. I feel like I'm listening to this in a cathedral and it's giving me goosebumps. It sounds so solemn and soulful at the same time. Morissette and Third Avenue, they are all brilliant. And whoever mixed this track is good. Sounds so, so, so good. You
loving the runs she did there. And if I am not mistaken, if I remember clearly, um, it is a bit different from what she did in one of her live sessions, the one I listened to recently. Let's go back to the clip. I love how the alto, tenor, and bass are coming together in the background, providing just the right support. Reminds me of the days when we used to sing a cappella. You've got to have a keen sense of hearing and pitch to be able to do something like this. Props to everyone. But I promise we'll take the world to its feet and ooh, Yes. Mountains, take it to its feet and move. Very nice. I hope you guys can appreciate the sincerity in her rendition. Well, even in her live sessions, she was serving us emotions, so I am not surprised. But it is always a pleasure to listen to her. And now with the addition of Third Avenue in the background, what a bonus. Do you folks know what vibe I'm getting from her as she was singing this part? More than being impressed by her vocals, she is giving me hope. Hope for the future and that we will rise up soon. She is such a gift. That's all I can say. Wow, Whew. I need a minute that is just too beautiful. I can't take it. Okay, let's go back. I want to say that she is such a vocal beast. Did you guys hear how she stylized that part with her rasp? Just amazing, right? She is the only person I know, aside from Jessie J, who can control her rasp. She can bring it out whenever she wants to, and she can choose not to use it at all. I know what I'm about to say is an oxymoron. The way to describe her voice is angelic beast. She has such sweet tones, but at the same time, she can blow us away just like that. Let's go back. And I'll do it a thousand times again. I don't care if people say that this is pre recorded. She still delivered that in one single breath. And that's an F5 she sustained in her chest voice. An F5, guys. The power she is giving us is truly, truly, truly mind-blowing. Let's continue. So good.
I hate to say this, but so far, I'm loving this more than the original version, and that is no disrespect to the original artist, Andra Day. But I think her dynamics are much more dramatic. That's number one. And in one song, we are hearing the different tones and textures of her voice. So I feel like there are more dimensions presented in this rendition. So I don't know if you guys will agree with me, but that is just my personal opinion. Moving on. Do you guys realize what she just did here? She growled. She hit a lot of F5s and F sharp 5s. She gave us riffs and runs. She showcased her lung power. And while doing all these, she was able to give emotions. She's giving us a total package. That, my friends, is a G-sharp 5, that piercing, strong head voice, which is just one of her many vocal strengths. Isn't it just marvelous? Let's go back. It is such a joy and a chore to do a reaction video of Morissette. You know why? Because she is such a joy to watch and to listen to. But it is such a chore because you cannot find anything to critique. Her rendition is just flawless. Again, the elements needed to pull off a decent a cappella, a good ear, you have to have good pitch, impressive dynamics, great timing, good voice quality because there is nothing to cover up your vocal flaws. And that is just to pull off a decent a cappella. And she delivered more than just decent. Definitely more than just decent. And we also have to give it to Third Avenue. As usual, they did great. They have always been brilliant in our live events together. So in a way, Third Avenue and Morissette make a perfect combination. I wouldn't call it a collaboration because I know for a fact that Third Avenue backs her up in her live events, in her live shows. So they are more like a, a team. As for all of you guys out there, my dear Max Tubers, do you prefer this a cappella version or the original version of Andra Day or the other versions of Morissette? Please comment down below because I'd like to hear from you. Of course, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. On that note, I would like to thank everyone for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe and healthy everyone. Take care.